While many fans validate season 1 of Destiny, The Winx Saga, still number 1 on Netflix, some of them were disturbed by some small details while watching the episodes. Instincts are telling you that flame will burn you. Your instincts are wrong. Grab onto it. Small details that don't really make sense to them. Such as the unexplained return of Stella to Alfia, the Riven Beatrix couple, or even Bloom's magical clothes. One. Bloom's fire-resistant clothing, yes, we are in a series with magic. Yes, there are powers, but from there to making totally mundane fireproof clothing? We explain to you. When Bloom attempts to subdue the dragon's flame in season 1 of Destiny, the Winx Saga fireballs multiply around her before disappearing, leaving her outfits intact. No burns, no traces of ash, no holes, it's really magic. Logically, her clothes should burn out as she uses her powers. On the other hand, do not try to imitate Bloom, Abigail Cohen, because in real life, your clothes will ignite instantly. 2. Riven and Beatrix, perhaps one of the most astonishing elements of Destiny, the Winx Saga, is Riven, Eddie Thorpe, and Beatrix, Sadie Sovereign, coming together. Why simply because in the cartoon, Winx Club Riven is in a relationship with one of the fairies, Musa, Alicia Applebaum, and has no attraction for one of the tricks, the enemy which is replaced by Beatrix in the Netflix series. Some fans didn't really appreciate touching one of the Winx flagship love pairs, especially to get him out with the villain of the story. This change doesn't really make sense, other than allowing Musa's new boyfriend, Sam, to be included. Don't be rubbish. Maybe it was just a bit of foreplay. They are definitely not fucking me. That Three. Make Stella's escape, after leaving for Solaria with her mother, Stella, Hannah van der Westhuysen, suddenly reappears in Alfia without explanation. How did she manage to escape when it is impossible to escape Solaria? The real mystery is above all, how Stella's mother did not realize that her daughter was missing? Otherwise, she would have started people looking for her, right? For their part, Musa, Tara, Aisha, and Bloom, they do not ask more questions about the unexpected return of their friend, weird. Did you tell your sweet mate she needed a buffer? I'm sure Bloom could use the distraction about now. I don't need them. 4. The return of Andreas. Andreas's return clearly heralds Destiny Season 2 The Winx Saga, but fans still have a question, how did his fake death go unnoticed? When Silva thinks of killing his best friend on the battlefield, Andreas is picked up by Rosalind and left to Luna de Solaria. Logically, Stella's mother should have returned the body to Alfia, but it never was. No one wondered why or how. Not even Sky, Andreas's son. Astonishing. Who has he buried suddenly? Oh, please get back. Vern wants to cut you and you're infected, but we're gonna help. Five. Bloom's temper tantrums, in season 1 of Destiny, the Winx Saga Bloom starts a fire with her power following an argument with her parents, but when she finds out the truth about the Kingdom Master Dell and her birth parents, nothing. Finally, yes, tears flow, except that some fans expected to see the fairy send everything to waltz with her powers and trigger an earthquake upon learning of this terrible secret. His anger is dangerous, but not in any situation apparently. You've got this. Six. Beatrix's prison, if at first, Beatrix's strange behavior does not surprise anyone, Bloom, Stella, Musa, Tara, and Aisha gradually discover that she is a witch sent to Alfia to retrieve Rosalind. Once her secret uncovered, Andreas's adopted daughter finds herself imprisoned in a cage with bars, little protected. It is therefore easy for Bloom to free her, since no protective spell has been cast against Beatrix's prison. An astonishing mistake for a school of magic.7. That was much more satisfying than a flower pot. Ms. Dowling's inattention, after discovering the body of her assistant, Ms. Dowling realizes that the secret door to her office is no longer there and yet, instead of panicking and taking care of protecting the entrance to the place where is hidden Rosalind, she's not doing anything. She leaves the room as it is, surprising for a school principal of magic. However, Ms. Dowling has the powers to remedy this problem, this careless error at least, has the merit of having made it possible to stop Beatrix. Grab onto it. 